Sahir Abab Zehra from TechX Media. We are at JISEC Global 2025 and I have with me two guests from UK Pavilion. Mr. Thomas McCarthy, he is CEO of OSB Cyber Academy, host of UK Pavilion. And along with him, I have Mr. Fahim Azhar, he is Board of Directors of Cyber Rails. So let's welcome both of them on TechX Media and get to know about their JISEC participation. Hi, uh, how are you? Okay. Good. It's great to have you here. So, uh, Thomas, I will start with you. Uh, tell us that you have been participating in JISEC for past three years now. Past How different is this year's JISEC and uh, what will be your uh, key takeaways from the event this year? Yeah, uh, obviously, uh, we, this is our third year attending. Uh, it's the largest national pavilion at JISEC this year, incidentally, the, the largest square footage, the UK Pavilion Hall 5. We've seen quite a different shift this year in, in people's requirements at JISEC. Obviously, there's a massive focus on AI. Everybody's talking about AI. And I think one of the things that constantly comes across when I speak to His Excellency Dr. Al Kuwaiti is the need to collaborate. And joining forces with Cyber Wales has definitely uh, supported the presence that we've had this year at, J at the JISEC and the UK Pavilion, having some exceptionally distinguished guests that I'm sure Fahim will share with you. A lot of excited UK companies are here for the first time, trying to understand the opportunities that exist in this very mature cyber marketplace. But yeah, there's a, there's a big buzz, there's a lot of excitement. It's day one and people are already getting quite excited about the opportunities. So it's been very successful so far. Of course. Uh, so, uh, Fahim, you tell us about um, how cyber, what Cyber Wheels is exhibiting at this time at JISEC. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for the interview. And I must say a big thanks to our partner, associate partner, JISEC, UK Rallyan, that we are very proud that we always come and participate. Thanks to our colleagues like Tom. Uh, at the same time that, you know, this particular event has been very much, we've been very fortunate uh, that we have announced four partnerships which has been witnessed by the UK Embassy and the, uh, at the UK Pavilion. Uh, this is in relation to AI cyber security, this is in relation to cyber insurance, this is in relation to education and all of that. So I believe that overall the event really was very successful. That's, that's great. Uh, so, uh, Thomas, can you tell us about uh, uh, what opportunities you see in the Middle East region? Yeah, obviously, uh, OSP Cyber Academy are a UK government assured training provider, and we see there's a gap in the market for cyber awareness training. So, we're heavily involved in focusing on our capability in the region while still keeping an eye open for our partnering companies to understand where's the opportunity that lies for them. And uh, quite a few of the unique com UK companies have got their own uh, IP, so they've got great intellect that they've created and developed themselves. So, whether that's in AI, uh, we have a, a great um, intelligence threat platform there at the UK Pavilion. So, so for, for us, there's opportunities that exist because of capability more than anything else. And I must, I must admit, it's one of the busiest pavilions you'll see, some great conversations going on. So I know that most people are, are very excited about the progress already. And this is day one. We've still got two days to go. I'm changing my shoes tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, my feet are killing me already, but it's great. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much for being here with us. It was great. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to TechX to know more about what is happening at JISEC Global 2025. Goodbye.